Hey, you guys. I'm still setting up a little bit. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let's see who else here today. We are going to have something really good. I'm not making a huge recipe. I'm making, um, I'm going to be making a single cinnamon roll. Something that, that can be really quick that you can do in your kitchen if you are in a rush. And of course, there's a whole bunch of, um, there's a whole bunch of recipes for cinnamon rolls, you know, in, in bulk that you can make if you want in the group. Uh, I'll be happy to put you in the group and tag you on some cinnamon rolls. But we're going to do a single cinnamon roll that you can do really, really fast. Like if you have a lunch break or, or whatever. So if you're hopping on here, do me a favor and say hello so that I know that I'm not by myself. Keto good. Hey, Frankie. Yes, ma'am. Keto all the way. Uh, low carb keto. Most of the time, that's exactly what I'm eating. And I absolutely love the way I eat. Um, so anyway, just hop when you hop on here, say hello. So I know where you are. Um, and tell me where you're watching from. Hi, Julie. Thank you for watching as well. And there's Frankie. Seems like there was somebody else. I can't get to my camera because I've got it on a mirror light so you can see me. And it's kind of far away and my arm won't reach. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started because I know some of you may be on your lunch break and I want to respect your time, um, especially if you're on lunch break and working. So anyway, this is what I do. I am working. <laughs> I have two businesses, and this is one of them, which basically all I have to do is cook and eat, and that is really amazing. Hi, Missy. Thank you for joining as well. So here we go. You ready? All right. You can go ahead, if you like, and get a paper and a pen so you can write down the recipe as I go, or I'll post it when I'm done, and the link. This is not my recipe. That's a disclaimer. I always want to give it. This recipe, I got it off of YouTube. And because it was a single recipe, uh, and I'm the only one probably that's going to eat it, um, then I figured I would do this as well because a lot of times when you are the only one in your household eating keto or low carb, you don't want to make a whole bunch because you don't want to throw anything away later on if you don't eat it fast enough. And I do like stuff like this, but I don't eat sweets all the time, so I wouldn't eat a whole batch. So here we go. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the wet ingredients and get those together. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to separate an egg white and the egg yolk. And I'm going to just put the egg yolk in here because that's what I'm going to be measuring in. So let me see. Let's see how I'm going to do this. I want the white over here. By the way, you guys, you're not going to use the white. So you can definitely use the white. Like if you have pets, you can cook the white up, give it to your pet or, you know, because that's good protein for them. All right, I'm going to put the yolk over here, move that out of the way. All right, to that, I am going to add wet fingers. <laughs> Excuse me. Get those wet fingers out of the way. Okay. Sorry, you guys. Okay. All right, so we got the egg yolk, and to that, I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I can't wait to try this. If you guys are watching, if you would do me a favor and share this out, it would be amazing. I found out that Facebook loves it when you share when you share things like this. They love it when you give us hearts. We get there's something about algorithm that I'm just learning about. Um, it helps put the, the lives that I do in front of more people. So if you give me hearts or share it out, it would be amazing. And Whoever does share it out at the end of March, you'll be put into the March's drawing. Uh, the, usually the last Friday in the month, I do a drawing. And I send you out some really amazing things. We're going to put a teaspoon of vanilla in here. Sometimes you'll catch me going overboard on the vanilla because I'm a vanilla freak. Y'all hear me say that a lot, don't you? All right, so we have one egg yolk in here. We have a teaspoon of vanilla. And to that, I'm going to add in my butter. Now, the butter that I'm adding is just seven grams of butter and it is melted so i was letting it cool off just a little bit before i added it to the egg and the egg also i had the egg at room temperature that way it doesn't it's, it doesn't scramble <laughs> all right and i'm going to beat this up looky here i got all that mixture in this little this little tiny mixture in this big old bowl why did i do that because I'm used to doing more than this, I suppose. So in this bowl here, we have the butter, we have the egg, and we have the vanilla. And I'm going to put this aside for a minute. 
and I'm gonna do the dry ingredients. The dry ingredients, I'm actually weighing it out, but I'll tell you what the measure is just in case you don't have a scale. Um, and the reason I'm measuring it out like this is because this is how it was done on YouTube. And he, but he gave the exact measurements plus the scale measurements, so I'm gonna do both. And I'm gonna be measuring it in grams. So I have 56 grams of blanched almond flour, and I use the super fine blanched almond flour. 56 grams is approximately one half a cup of almond flour. So that's what's already in the bowl. To that, I'm gonna add a um, 25 grams or three tablespoons of confectioner sweet, uh, sweetener. Now on the YouTube video, they are using the confectioner swerve. I choose and love the monk fruit better. Time for me to get some more of that too. I'm using that. I got it from Amazon a while back. And it's confectioner sweetener. And it doesn't have the cooling effect that the swerve has. So monk fruit has become my very all-time favorite, especially the confectioner. So I'm going to be putting three tablespoons in here, or shall I say um, 25 grams. However you want to measure that out. Let me pull this off. Okay. There we go. See what I can do. Let's make. Let's see if 56 grams really is three tablespoons or 25 grams of sweetener. So we have one tablespoon. Two tablespoons. Max, hey, my babies. <laughs> and. That's only 21. Three tablespoons is only 21 grams of sweetener. It calls for 25 grams. So I'm gonna go a little bit over the three tablespoons. I'm trying to do this exact. <laughs> well, just a little bit more. It's probably an extra teaspoon. So it's probably, if you're, if you're using the teaspoon, it's probably something like three three tablespoons and one teaspoon of sweetener, or you can just do it to taste. A lot of times that's what I do anyway. The recipe says one thing, I do something else. I'm the world's worst at just making things up as I go. Hey, Teresa, thank you for watching. Vicki, thank you, Victoria. All right, so to the dry mixture, we have the 56 grams or the half a cup of almond flour, blanched, and I use super fine, 25 grams or three tablespoons and about a teaspoon of the confectioner sweetener. Half a teaspoon of the xanthan gum, and I got this also. No, I actually got this at Walmart, I think. This xanthan gum is what's going to is the difference in the uh, the consistency of the uh, cinnamon roll. It makes it more like a real cinnamon roll, and not just there we go, and not just a dried up piece of bread. <laughs> So half a teaspoon is all you need. And trust me, you don't want to go over the measurements on the xanthan gum. The xanthan gum is very, very powerful. It only takes a little bit to use. Um, and you really don't want to do that. Please give hearts. Oh, Frankie, thank you. Thank you. All right. All right, so we added the xanthan gum. And then we're going to add a fourth a teaspoon of baking powder. Fourth of a teaspoon. A fourth. fourth of a teaspoon of baking powder and then it says a pinch of salt now well, I'm gonna just tell you what what I did the dry actual recipe calls for unsweetened butter well what I have thank you so much for the hearts thank you hey Imani um, um, the I use salted butter it calls for um, unsalted but because I use the salted butter I'm not gonna put any extra salt in here because there's already some in there I'm gonna go ahead and um, not really whisk this, but mash it out, stir it up. Try to make it smooth because I'm getting ready to add it to the wet mixture. And then we're going to roll it out and make it look like a cinnamon roll and put some good stuff on top of it. Just trying to mix it all in really good. Yeah, I, I learned this from actually a cook. They said that when you, dry, when you mix your dry ingredients, before adding that to, unless you're using a real mixer, um, make sure you get every, all the dry ingredients mixed up really well. That way it'll be evenly distributed throughout your recipe. And I was like, hmm, that makes a lot of sense. So that's what I do now. Um, I do have a mixer, just didn't want to use it. 
they didn't use this on the YouTube either, but I know it would be a lot simpler if I did. But you know me, I like to do things my way. My kitchen, my way. <laughs> but my way seems to turn out right. I have not had breakfast. How many of you guys do intermittent fasting? Does anybody else do that besides me? I don't do it every single day, but I do try to um, participate in some kind of fast a couple times a week. It's good for you, it's healthy for you, um, and if you're, if you're a Christian and a believer, when you actually abstain from certain things, it gives you more time to spend with the Lord in prayer, in His Word. Um, I know not everybody does that, but you could also use that time if you don't do that, you know, and just um, start speaking some life over yourself. You know, right now we have this coronavirus going on. And yes, I'm smiling, and I'm not smiling about that because there's there are people that are sick, but I am not going to get this in Jesus' name <laughs> because that's just the way I believe. And it has kept me for years. I don't usually get sick. I've had a few uh, things happen, but you know, the enemy, he does try to, uh, try to attack us. Anyway, looky here. I got it all mixed up really well. Now I'm going to add that to the wet ingredients. I should add the wet ingredients. I'm going to add the wet ingredients to this because it's more dry than it is wet. Sounds like I'm ringing a bell. I'm chiming in a little bell. <laughs> Hi, Tracy. Thank you for watching, too. Okay, doesn't give you a whole lot. All right, I'm going to try to get all this stuff mixed up. Really good. Seems like an awful lot of dry mixture, doesn't it? Hmm. But this is what it looked like when they were they were bl mit, blend, bl 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 blending it. <laughs> I'm getting ready to get my hands in here in a minute. My hands are clean. They've been in water this morning. So I'm getting ready to put some hands in here and, you know, do some kneading. Because, like I said, this is a dry mixture. So, you ready? Because here I go. Just like bread, usually to keep things from sticking, you uh, most people will put some grease or some oil or some water on you, on yourself. I'm just going to spray my hand a little bit to help out. <laughs> See how it's crazy that this is ghee. It's the same as putting your hand in oil or water. But this is ghee, spray ghee. You don't have to use that. Any kind of spray, cooking oil will be, will be fine. But I use ghee, avocado oil, olive oil, sprays, and stuff like that. And I figured, hmm. The ghee tastes more like a butter flavor, so I just wanted to try that one instead of the rest. And what you want to do when you're when you're kneading this together is try to get in all of the wet, I mean all of the dry ingredients and blend it in here. So just act like you're doing bread. Who on here has tried cinnamon rolls keto style? Hi Cindy, thank you for watching. Any of you guys done any um, keto style bun? I mean. Uh, keto rolls before. All right, so here we go. What I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to roll it out just a little bit. Now it calls for parchment paper. I don't have any more. I am out. <laughs> but I do have this from Copper Chef, and it's the same thing except it's not paper. So I'm going to put my little ball right there, and I'm going to flatten it out. I'm going to try to make it a little bit long and thin because I'm going to be rolling this out in a few minutes. And it will crack a little bit, but that's all right. The man on the YouTube said, it's all right if it cracks. You can always put it back together. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. Hi, Marisi. Thank you for joining. We are doing keto uh, cinnamon cinnamon bun. You know, I did the Cinnabon, Cinnabons, um, when was that? About a month ago? You guys loved it. I put that in the I put that recipe in the group. Um, that was actually one. Uh, the base of it wasn't mine, but the rest of it was. So I just went ahead and put it in the group. If you like Cinnabons, it tasted it tasted so good, just like one. Only ten o'clock in the morning. You forgot about the time difference. Hi, Elaine. All right, it said to do it about eight inches long, and I'm not really doing that well. <laughs> 
As far as the longness goes, hi Nancy, Sharon, hey you guys. It's almost there. One, two, three, four, five. I think this here might actually work. Some of you might actually want to use a roll. I have a rolling pin. I didn't think about doing it. All right, take a look at that. All right. Remember, this is only going to make one. This is my breakfast because I haven't had no food today. <laughs> All right, so next thing you want to do is you want to spray it uh, right here because we're going to be sticking some. It's supposed to only be like an inch wide. <laughs> okay, so now once you just spray because you were going to be putting some stuff on there that needs to stick. And like I said, I'm using spray ghee, but y'all can use olive oil, avocado oil, whatever it is that you use as far as your sprays go. And then it calls for, oops, cinnamon. I'll be right back. I got to get the cinnamon. I forgot the cinnamon. Lord have mercy. Where is this? You guys, I'm so sorry. Let's put some cinnamon on there. And I like cinnamon. And I have thought about doing this, but since it's my first time, I'm not doing it. I thought about putting some pumpkin spice on here. Y'all, pumpkin spice cinnamon raw, I bet that would be awesome. But I'm a cinnamon freak. As you can see, I put a lot of that on there. I'm going to use some Swerve Brown Sugar. Y'all like that? I love Swerve Brown Sugar. It's just like the real thing. Just like it. Let's see. Might as well use this because it has sweet on there too. All right, let's see what we got. I'm just gonna try to put some out here. This is gonna be so good. I'm gonna put a little bit more on there. It actually tells you how much to put. It says that you can put. <laughs> well, it really doesn't, but guess what? I'm putting on there what I like. All right, so once you get your sweetener on there, start pushing it in to the, to the, uh, to the dough that you made, and then we're going to roll it up. Now, if you have nuts and stuff like that, you can actually, you know, crush up some walnuts or something like that, sprinkle it in there, or you can put it in the icing. I'm probably not going to do it this time because I didn't get it ready, but... At this point, just start rolling it up. And it may crack, but they but all you have to do is just you can smooth it out. But here it is. Looky there. Looky there. So it didn't say do this either, but I'm gonna spray the top of it just a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in, I'm gonna put it in a mug, spray the inside of that. And I am going to put my cinnamon roll in here, and I'm going to put it in the microwave for 30, I mean for 60 to 90 seconds. And when, while it's in there, I'm going to start working, <laughs> I'm going to start working on the glaze. So give me one minute. Oops. start working on the glaze while that's cooking and um, the glaze is only going to be like one tablespoon of confectioner swerve or I'm using my monk fruit and six grams of heavy whipping cream and that's it for the for the uh, for the glaze so I'm gonna go ahead and mix it up while that's in there one tablespoon of sweetener whipping cream. Give me another minute to get my cream out. Alrighty. And this here only takes six grams, so I'm going to get this back out. 
six grams, and it didn't say how much that is. So I'm assuming that you would actually add the, the creamer to be the consistency that you want. Because it doesn't say, but I'm going to put six grams in there like it said. Stir it up. All right, which is not much, obviously. It looks like it might be maybe two teaspoons or something like that. Um, let's look. Remember, this is not going to be a lot because it's just for one cinnamon roll. I'm getting ready to get it out. So I mix that up. You see how creamy it is? All right, let me get this in now. I have to say that this smells really good. Let's take it out. Looks like it's gonna fall apart. <laughs> oh my word. Can y'all see this? Look at that. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna give this just a minute and let it cool off and I'm gonna put the glaze on there and I'm gonna try it live. Elaine says she bought coconut brown sugar. Hmm, brown sugar like taste and it says it has four grams of sugar. Will this be okay? Well, that depends. Um, Elaine, if you are doing strict keto, that would that's got probably um, more sweetener, more sugar in there than you want. If you're doing lazy keto or um, dirty keto or whatever, then that would be fine. It just depends on what your um, what you are wanting out of this, how fast you want to lose. But you know what? I don't condemn anybody for using anything because I'm just not going to do that. Um, coconut sugar does taste good. I've tasted it, love it myself. So it just depends on what it is you want out of your way of eating. And there it is. Take a look behind me. What is it? What? What? <laughs> Come say hello to everybody. Hello, everybody. I had to get me a little drink. A little drink. That is Coke, you guys. He drinks pure Coke all the time. And tea and lemon water. That's it. And coffee. Ooh, ooh. Lots of it. Yes, that's mine. Oh, wow, man, that's that looks good. I tell you what, give me a knife and I will, the, the, my copper chef knife, I'll cut it in half and you can have half and I'll have half. I'm going to ice Ooh, it. That looks better. We're going to try it together, you guys. Woo! It is hot. That looks awesome. All right. That looks better than my donut. <laughs> you got donut too? Or you yeah. got one coming? No, I, I, I still got some in there. Looky there. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we are gonna, we are going to check this out like now. Yes. Yes, okay. yes, yes. But honey, it's hot, so be careful. I don't care. Well, it can't be no worse than that coffee burn. It's true. He's got this really bad coffee burn. Elaine, thank you, and good morning to your hubby. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, young lady. Oh. Okay, here's yours, but it's really hot. You might want to give it a minute to cool down. You know, my whole life, my thing is sweet. That's why I got a sweet wife over here. Too. Oh, Lord. I don't know what he wants. It might be because it was our anniversary. Yeah. No, no it's my no, birthday. Birthday, coming. that's it. My birthday's coming. Anniversary was last month. And I forgot about it. So. Hey, y'all, who on here is over 60? <laughs> because besides you, no. I know you're over 60. but And I am 60, but I'm going to be 61, and I just don't feel like it. I feel like a, I still feel young. Oh, and pray for me, everyone, because doctor's going to operate on my back. It's because he misbehaves. Because <laughs> he beats me. <laughs> Do not. All right, you want to try it? It's yes, really yes. hot, honey, really hot. That's okay, it's good. Here, you want me to cut a bite? No, no, no. You can pick it up? I'm going to pick it up. I am right. going to cut a bite because it's really hot. Mm -mm. Oh, man. Does it taste good? It's good. I haven't ever tried it yet. I'm getting ready to. 
Mm. That is good. No, it's good. It's my breakfast. <laughs> and my lunch. So there you go, you guys. I hope this helped. <coughs> We're down the wrong hole. sitting over here <laughs> okay so if you if you like this today do me a favor mm. and share it out as you share it out type shared in the comments so I can add you to the March um, the March drawing and I usually do that hi Michael <laughs> now, I, hi, usually, Michael. I usually do that the last um, Friday in the month oh he's coming up behind me hey Michael you want to come and try this on here and tell them what it tastes like? You know, teenagers are always going to tell you the truth. They don't tell you things just because they want you to be happy with them. So I'm going to cut it and we taste it. There you go. All right, come over here so they can see you. Squat down. He's taller than me. There you go. It's good. You like it? Mm -hmm. That's my Michael. I have their home today. They, there's a teacher work day, so he's home. Daniel's home. Um, so I'm glad he came up here. But if you share this out, put your name, comment, share. Give me some hearts if you like this. Um, I love doing this. Keto Kitchens is my, it's, a, it's, it's fun. I mean, how in the world can you not love getting paid to do a Keto Kitchen? Hello. This is so much fun. And, um... I have not checked to see what my weight loss is. I do know that um, I wear t-shirts all the time. My, my grandsons are always saying, you wear the same thing all the time. Well, I worked for Samaritan's Purse for 10 years. I got t-shirts every year. So I have like drawers full of t-shirts. So that's what I always wear. But this t-shirt you see here, I haven't been able to wear this in about three years. And I pulled it out of the drawer for the first time this morning and it's a little bit big and I love it. So I don't know how much weight I'm losing, but I am definitely, hey, my missy said, hey, your cousin, he said, hey, yeah, cousin, yeah, cousin, okay, so, um, so I don't know, but if you want any information about the keto way of eating, low carb eating, if you need help, let me, um, let me help you. I love helping people eat this way. There's, um, inside the group that I'm in, we have, um, we have meal plans, we have food lists. There's recipes galore. So if you want in the group so you can get all of that. A lot of you are already in there. But if you want in the group and you're not there yet, just type group in the comments and I'll get you added. Thank you so much. Anyway, you guys have a blessed day. And I'm going to go eat this cinnamon roll. I'll talk to you soon. i got to walk around so you'll be seeing my kitchen for about five seconds. Bye, you guys. <laughs> I wish my arm was bigger. Let me do this real quick.